and asks Fred to, uh, metaphorically what's to be done, what's to be said. This particular woman, uh, Barbara Strozzi, was a self-made woman and a, an absolute tour de force in Baroque music in Venice. And um, whereas most composers were male and depended on uh, the church and patrons to support them in their careers, she made her own money by writing and selling and performing her own songs. And in fact, it's reported she was the most published composer of secular songs in Venice in her time. Um, I find her extraordinary. So we are going to be singing Kessie Fulfire.
the most, most performed um, operators ever by Gilbert and Sullivan um, called the Mikado, which also happened to be one of my mother's favourites as she, in her, later on in her singing career, uh, made quite a name for herself singing the role of Katisha. Um, this, however, is a song sung by the protagonist Yum Yum, who is about to be wed to her beloved um, Nanki Poo. Mm -hmm. And so uh, she's preparing for her wedding and singing about the sun and the moon. <laughs>
she was graduated in uh, the end of uh, 19th century from St. Petersburg Conservatoire. She was studying piano with uh, Anton Rubinstein, a very famous uh, pianist. She also composed lots of works, uh, symphonies, concertos, uh, piano solos, art songs. Uh, her works received public recognition at that time. Um, uh, the Russian Musical Gazette noted in, 90s, in 1912. Uh, her gifts as a composer are wo most welcome phenomenon of St. Petersburg musical life. For many, many decades, the Arkadia Kasperova was best known, uh, if at all known, as a piano teacher to Igor Stravinsky. Uh, so Stravinsky expresses gratitude to Kasperova for, for providing him with excellent piano technique and a uh, sense of metier. In the time, he needs that um, um, skill of uh, being a composer and uh, a pianist um, put together. So uh, he is referring to double profession of composer and the pianist. So the, uh, the song that I'm going to play, the piece that I'm going to play, is called Rose.
She won second place in the 1908 Prix de Rome, and amongst her competition students were Baron Boyne, Copeland, John Elliott Gardner, Philip Glass, Julia Perry, Astor Pizzola, and George Walker, to name a tiny fraction of her highly successful um, students. The first song is called Cantique, and it's quite melancholic. It's about love, loss, and living with grief. Whereas the second song, Chanson, is very upbeat and singing of love and kisses and hiding amidst the green fronds in the garden amongst the flowers. You'll hear Tire les Lidon, draw the curtains. The triad of contending echoes the most beautiful one is you.
She composed uh, orchestral choral works, um, the trumpet, ballet, cantatas, bass, but she is best known for more than 400 songs and cinema music. Uh, and she's still alive. At 94 years of age, she's uh, remained one of the best known figures in Soviet popular music since the uh, 1960s. <coughs> um, and uh, it was a planet that was named after her, like a small meteor. Uh, <laughs> uh, we are going to sing the song, which is called Tenderness, and she, it was dedicated to Yuri Gagarin. Uh, he was a cosmonaut and a pilot. It is a spell of a woman who released her beloved to the stars and awaits his return. The song is inspired by the hour and a half that took Yuri Gagarin to fly around the globe in April 61, becoming the first man in space. Uh, the words are, the earth became empty without you. How do I survive the next few hours? The leaves are still falling from the trees in the garden and the taxis are still rushing around. But the world is a lonely place uh, now and while you're flying away and the stars are giving you all your tenderness. But it's not me, that's the stars. <laughs> this is the, uh, the second time that I'll be singing in Russian in my entire life. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> my mom said that was a bad <laughs> Oh, stay with the beast. 
the first time in Brighton and some of Jonathan's friends were there and they were all in absolute tears at the end. <laughs> so, we return briefly to visit Cecilia Chaminade and this is a wonderful waltz. It's a portrait of a very pretty blonde lady who sadly ignores the singer completely, doesn't know their existence. <laughs>
Jonathan Duggart from Cecil Chamillan. So thank you very much for listening to that one. <laughs> Moving on now to a woman from England who actually lived just around the corner from me in Stratton in London. Her name is Madeline Green and she set three songs or three poems by Shakespeare to modern music and uh, this one is It Was a Lover and His Lass.
dance to the dream. And I dedicate it to you, ladies and gentlemen, because we do so love performing for you at Danny House. And so this is called Love is My Reason. Mm -hmm. 